Hi everyone and welcome to Who Through the Curve and this is a Robert Ruiz rant and today we're going to speak on Choose Your Friends Wisely, the fast track to self-improvement. The old age wisdom of choosing your friends wisely. It's almost as if the universe is trying to tell us that our social circle can make or break us. But let's be real. Who needs wise friends when you can have a bunch of clowns to keep life interesting, right? Wrong. If you want to become a better version of yourself, it's time to ditch the circus and surround yourself with people who actually have their act together. The comedy of errors. Let's start with the obvious. Hanging out with people who are perpetually tripping over their own feet, metaphorically and literally, is not going to turn you into a graceful swan. Sure, it's hilarious to watch your buddy Dave try to parallel park for the upteen time, but is that really the kind of skill set you want to absorb? If you surround yourself with incompetence, don't be surprised when you start to resemble a walking, talking blooper reel. The Dunning-Kruger effect in full swing. Ever heard of the Dunning-Kruger effect? Of course you did, because I've spoken on it on many occasions. It's that delightful cognitive bias where people with low ability at a task overestimate their ability. In other words, it's when your friend Karen, who can't boil water without setting off the smoke alarm, insists she's a culinary genius. If you spend too much time with these self-proclaimed experts, you might start to believe their delusions. And trust me, no one needs another Karen in the kitchen. The fast track to mediocrity. If your goal is to become the best version of yourself, then surrounding yourself with mediocrity is like trying to run a marathon in flip-flops. It's just not going to get you very far. Instead, find friends who challenge you, inspire you, and maybe even intimidate you a little. These are the people who will push you to be better, not because they think they're better than you, but because they know you can be better than you are. The power of positive influence. Imagine if you spent your time with people who are constantly striving for greatness, you'd be like a sponge soaking up their ambition, their knowledge, and their drive. Before you know it, you'd be setting goals, achieving them, and setting new ones. It's like magic, but without the smoke and mirrors. The sarcastic reality check, of course, this doesn't mean you should abandon your old friends entirely, after all. Who else is going to laugh at your terrible jokes and remind you of that time you wore socks with sandals? But maybe, just maybe, it's time to expand your social circle to include a few people who have their lives together. You know, the ones who actually read books, have meaningful conversations, don't think adulting is a verb? In the end, choosing your friends wisely is less about ditching the clowns and more about finding balance. Keep the ones that make you laugh, but... Also seek out those who make you think, grow, and strive for more. Because the fastest way to become better is to surround yourself with better people. And who knows, maybe one day you'll be the friend that others look up to. Just try not to trip over your own feet on the way there. So go ahead, upgrade your social circle. Your future self will thank you. And if all else fails, at least you'll have some great stories to tell about the time you tried to befriend a genius and ended up learning how to parallel park like a pro. Thank you for listening to Who Through the Curve. Don't forget to like us, share us, and subscribe. Thanks.